On a night filled with opulence, Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, graced Buckingham Palace in a stunning white Jenny Packham gown and the exquisite Strathmore Rose Tiara, a piece with a rich history gifted by her parents to the Queen Mother in 1923. The tiara, making a public appearance after many years, added a touch of timeless elegance to Kate's ensemble. As Kate joined Prince William, the King, and Queen in welcoming President Yoon Suk Yeol and his wife Kim Kian Hee, the royal couple truly embodied regal sophistication. Kate's ensemble, complemented by Queen Elizabeth's earrings, her family order, and her GCVO sash and star, showcased a perfect blend of tradition and modernity. But Kate wasn't the only one making a statement. Queen Camilla paid tribute to her late mother-in-law by donning Queen Elizabeth's magnificent ruby and diamond Burmese tiara. Paired with a red velvet evening dress by Fiona Clare, Camilla radiated elegance and grace. Adding a personal touch, both Kate and Camilla wore yellow brooches, signifying their inclusion in the royal family order, a prestigious honor bestowed upon female members by the monarch. The brooches featured a portrait of a young Queen Elizabeth II, a symbol of their commitment to the firm. The banquet wasn't just a feast for the eyes, but also a culinary extravaganza. The palace ballroom transformed with seasonal blooms, and the menu boasted delicacies like warm tartlet of soft poached egg, breast of Windsor pheasant, and mango ice cream bomb. The wine selection, including English Camel Valley Special Reserve 2015 and Chateau Mouton Rothschild 1 Ur Cru 1989, added to the grandeur. The King's Speech, sprinkled with Korean, celebrated the 140th anniversary of Korea's diplomatic ties with the UK. With references to K-pop culture and a nod to his previous visit with Princess Diana, the King showcased the deep bond between the two nations. He applauded Korea's journey into technological creativity and artistic expression, acknowledging Blackpink's role as ambassador for COP26. In a heartwarming moment, the king proposed a toast to the next 140 years of Korean-British relations, ending with a cheerful attempt at Korean cheers. The applause that followed highlighted the warmth and camaraderie shared during this historic state visit. If you enjoyed this glimpse into the glamorous state banquet, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more royal updates, and ring the notification bell to stay connected with the fame journey. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, stay fabulous.